What's the next? Oh, what? I got buddies! Oh my god! in town see my shorty baby hello traveler how can I help you well I need some manly bandana seven defense hey, give me that heals 11 HP times two eat it twice that's 22 right heals 22 <laughs> just give me the cinnamon bun what are you talking about Hiya! Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Ruby's has food. The library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do your thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back in the back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head to the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they link they liked the cold and camped up in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're you're a ghost or you can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Lobo just gifting and 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 gifting. Free them? I'm fixing to free them. We got Shorty here walking the dog. Thank you, Lobo, for another gifted to Lados. Is it my little cinnamon? This is my. Is it my little cinnamon? Bun buns are so adorable. Aren't you a bunny? Lady over there. Or disturbs me. Yeah, me too, buddy. Oh, it's Christmas time. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath the decorated tree. Monster Kid! Yo! You're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Okay, that's that's his voice now. Yes. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Real bees, bruh. Bro, this dude looks valid as fuck. Everyone's always laughing at cracking jokes, trying to forget their modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? can't do anything, so why be morose why be morose about it? Damn, they're really fucked up down here. It's everyone I fought in the snow. Who's this? No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and hot guys. Mm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. When you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. This dude looks cool. Is that Bojack? The capital's getting pretty crowded. <laughs> so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Mm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip, into, slip onto their butts. Bro, y'all are fucked up. I put out a line <laughs> for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. That's the guy whose note we saw in the, on the fishing rod. This is the weird looking monster. Someone said Endeavor as fuck. Oh, the fire? Yeah, that's Grillby. We'll talk to him in a second. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> 
kind of fuck ass face is that? I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. That makes sense. Ruby said he'd offer to you a glass of water, but does, but he doesn't touch this stuff. For sure. There's something interesting up here, I, I, I believe. Is that a little ladybug dude? Let's play Monsters and Humans. What was that noise? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. You're a rock, my nigga. Hello? What a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Fuck you, bruh. What are you doing, bruh? Couldn't the conveyor belt just go all the way? He's good at his job, though. He's throwing ice to the hot lands to cool off the, uh, the, the reactors there or something. Like, it goes all the way to the end of the game. It's pretty cool. Oh, someone's calling me? Hello? Can I speak to G? Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number! It's the wrong number song! We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong! It's the wrong number! Oh, it's the wrong number! Oh, it's the wrong number! <laughs> Fuck. Who's G? As in Gaster? Was that a rare thing that just happened? They wanted to speak to G as in Gaster? Who else in this game name starts with G? Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little re to report, we just fill it with comics and games. That look in your eye! You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? <laughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word switches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word switch creator in the entire underground. That's cool. Let's read some books. Love, hope, compassion is what people say monsters souls are made of. The absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city. Oh. We braved the harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reach what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it out on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. While well, monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. What? Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Wow, so that's why in the genocide route, you can you be one-shotting niggas because your desire to kill them is so strong. I said, Pixel, are you a hashtag girl boss? Yes. As fuck. Yes, look at this mailbox. So that stands in Papyrus's house. This is the shed where the game theory machine is. Hello? I can't see shit, y'all. Oh fuck! It's time, baby. It's time. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like. Joy of finding another pasta lover. Admiration.
admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. You decide to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings it must be what you're feeling right now. You can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not! You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... Your... No! No, this is wrong! Can't be your friend! You're a human! I must capture you! Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream! Powerful, popular, prestigious! That's Papyrus! The newest member of the Royal Guard! I'm gonna fold you, watch this. I'm gonna spare the fuck out you, bro. Flirt? What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings! Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming quality. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. Sick attacks, bro. Oh my god. I don't want to insult him, I like him. So, you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! You good, bro? Oh! I didn't know what was gonna happen right now. You're blue now. I can see that, dickhead. Let's go. I wonder what I should wear. Oh shit. Okay, let's go. Pirates dabs MMT MTT brand fishy cream. What the fuck is fishy cream behind his ear? We're not fishy anything, bitch. What? I'm not thinking about the date thing. Yes, you are. You're getting ready right now. Woo! Oh, I'm nice. If they were supposed to genocide right, I would destroy the sands fight in one try. Here we go. I can almost taste my future popularity! Oh, you fucking bastard. Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh my god! Okay, I need to heal. Uh, not the snow piece. I didn't even put the bandana on! Fuck, oh, eat, eat the ice cream. Oh my god. That's why I'm taking so much damage. I didn't even put the fucking bandana on. Dang it! Dang it! Pirates realize he's another ears. Yeah, how are you putting it behind yours? I died would be really proud of me! I don't give a damn. Ah. Uh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile! Oh, fuck me, oh, fuck me, oh, fuck me, oh, fuck me, oh, fuck me. Yes, don't fuck me. My brother will... Well, he won't change very much. Ooh, I'm on, and I'm on beat too? He prepares a non-bone attack and spends a minute fixing his mistake. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Come on. Here we go. Here we go. It's like Happy Bird, Happy... Flappy Bird, Happy Bird. It's like Happy Feet, the game. Anyone like me as sincerely as you? No, they won't, Papyrus. No one will like you as much as I do. I don't even like you that much. So that's, that's saying something about you, bro. Fuck. You're not that cool. You're not that guy. 
someone like you is really rare. Oh shit. Fuck! Ooh! Yeah! Oh my god. Oh, dating might be kind of hard. Oh, don't move. Oh fuck, don't move. Oh fuck, don't move. Oh fuck, don't move. Oh fuck. Don't move. Oh, fuck. oh my god! Woo! <laughs> After your <laughs> sent away. Right after that. Ooh! Oh shit! Balls, balls, blue, blue cheese balls, balls. Uh, who cares? I give up. Oh, he's telling me to give up. Ah, oh, brother, this guy stinks! Give up or face my special attack. What is wrong with me? Oh my fucking lord! You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Or as Sans calls it, our garage. You're in the doghouse now. What was that one Sans sound? Or the... That was like one voice clip of um, Asgore. I really lost to Papyrus, bro. What the fuck? It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nefily yours, Papyrus. Can I leave? Yeah, I just walk out. Oh, bro, there's a mouse in here. Let me say what's up. Fuck! God damn it, I really lost to Papyrus. Watch when Pixel reads his chat. Furries detected. Jack Frost got it like that. Click Pixel, please don't read chat. Okay, fine. Reading it right now. Fuck it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ah! This time I'm gonna take no damage. No damage run. Come on. Come on. Golly! Not that serious. I'm trying to not use my healing. Come on. Can I even beat this game? Fuck! Okay, 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 okay. Undyne will be so proud of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be proud of these. Okay, come on. My hands are sweating as fuck. Huh? Ah, no! games papyrus I've had enough of your bullshit I'm gonna beat him this time you know I think uh, my keys were a little greasy my keys on my keyboard were a little they had a little gamer goo on them a little bit of uh, 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 um, cheese it grease that's the problem just rub that off we're good to go there we go now I'm feeling sharp I'm feeling ready to game here we go you say forehead grease like it's a joke, but there's literally forehead grease. Like, I'd be, like, scratching my forehead and getting the grease on my fingers, bro. We're going from a- this is- this is literally like a enemies to lovers arc. That's what this is. Fuck me. Papyrus, fuck me. <laughs> what?! Chill! I'm gaming. I'm gaming. I'm gaming as fuck. See how warmed up I am? Look at me. Look at how fast I'm pressing this. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Look at me. Look at how good I am when I'm focusing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Papyrus, sir. Oh, 
Special attack, here it is! I'm scared, I'm scared. What the heck? That's my special attack? Hey! You stupid dog! You hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? I'm back here with my special attack! This is a really cool regular attack. Oh fuck. Why am I scared? Ah! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! The dog! Ah! Ah! What's next? Ah! Oh my! What? I got bunnies! Oh my god! Oh my god! Papyrus, what is this? What is this? Get it out of my face. Yes, nigga. Huh. Granny, you can't defeat me. Yeah, let's go! Oh. Oh. oh my god. I'm sweating so bad, oh my god. Geometry Dash Kinney. <laughs> Put that clip of that kid who plays Geometry Dash and he like starts crying. That was me. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, I'd like to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now, here's your chance to accept my mercy. Oh my god. Fuck. No. Oh. Stop someone as weak as you. And I'm going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. That's not true, Papyrus. Let's be friends. You and me. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie! We haven't even had our first date! already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> All I needed was to make friends. <laughs> was to give up, give people awful puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us underground. Anything Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters is... Well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain you do. I'm certain it. What the fuck? I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I please go home? He died you right to the barrier himself. 
Anyway, that's enough talking. You'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have it and have that date. <laughs> Bitch, what? Can you just jump over me? I'm gonna have that date right now. I want his bones, bro. I want all his bones and all my all touching my bones. Bone up. Yes, bro. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take some <laughs> take you to someplace really special. A place like a oh fuck. Let's go. Oh fuck, we're running fast as fuck. Why are we going so fucking fast? Yeah, what? What? Why are we going back? We're going to your house? My house! Dickhead. Let's explore the house first. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sand, please pick up your sock. <laughs> Okay. Don't put it back down, move it! Okay. Move it two inches, move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Yeah, I'm in the kitchen. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently, he's been breaking something. It was like a quiche filled with sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. You mean like a quiche? What the fuck is a quiche? Impressed, I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. You got a dog problem in your house, bro. You got a dog infestation. Catch that meddling canine! Purses. Saints! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Fuck ass, nigga! Bro. Oh, that's my favorite game show! It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. It's a bad episode, don't judge me! Metaton something? It's a joke book. Take a look inside? Yeah. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You looked at- you decided to stop. What is this old ass- what is this? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. Usually I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. That's my room! Finish looking around, you can go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Yes. Fuck yeah, we're in Sans I mean, uh, Papyrus Room. Hey! Those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. The internet! I'm quite popular there. Just a dozen away from a double digit follower account. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending my, me bad puns in a goofy font. That's Sans, bruh. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. That book's one of my favorites Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That netbook's. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Ah, oh, yes, action figures. Great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, it, let's just say they're from a chubby smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, yeah that's right. Santa! Bro, Undyne found it at the bay? I think it's from the human world? Now, I know what you're thinking. What a human flag. A cool skeleton on it. Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> Let's get to the bed, bro. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I have to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, it's just a dream. Oh, instead, I cruise while I snooze. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? 
Let's date Papyrus! Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. Don't worry. You can spell and spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating hut. Thursday? Is it Thursday? Yes, it is. Wowee! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem! Human! I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three. Okay. How oh, nice clothes to show you can. Wait a second. Wear clothing? Bandage hanging off you. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning. For sure. No. You planned it all! Of course I did, Papyrus, you fool. You've been, I've been spinning this web since I fucking downloaded the game and fucking started it and entered my name. This has all been according to my plan, don't you realize? <laughs> You're just running around in the palm of my hands, you fucking pile of bones. Your dating power! Yeah, it's maximum. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and never will! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I too can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Behold! Uh... Yeah, my date power's increasing, y'all. Are they gonna fuck? Yes. And it's gonna be fully animated. In a higher resolution. You don't... <laughs> you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said it's invalid. <sighs> what? What is he talking about, invalid? What is he hiding about his outfit? I have to know! This date won't escalate any further! Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Damn it! What could be the secret of this outfit? I have to know. I will find it out! You can't hide it from me! Move to ins and inspect with Z. It's not, the, it's not the butters. It's not the stompers. Is his hat? Or caressing my biceps with a floating heart. Who doesn't? Can I do it, chat? Can I touch his ball? No! Don't pull! No! Ah! There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. His hat is fucked. My hat? My hat! My hat! What the fuck? I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Give me Spaghetti! Right, but oh so wrong. <sighs> this ain't no any plain old pasta. Damn it! He's right! This pasta's anything but plain! In fact, it's spectacular! This, time. this is an artisan's work! Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Ah, 
are then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Impossible! He's a Master Chef too! He cooked that spaghetti all by himself. Put the ingredients in, boil the water, put in the pasta. It couldn't be possible for someone of his caliber. It looks like I've underestimated Papyrus. Now that I'm fully charged up with this sandwich, I'm ready to go! Round two! I will steal your heart, Papyrus! Human! It's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further! Hmm. Eat it? Oh, hell yeah, I'm eating it. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. That was a passionate expression! You must have really loved my cooking! By extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! No! In my mouth! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me! Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Anyway, I want you to be happy too. Time for me to express my. You're done. You're done. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. Hi. Um. Oh, is it hot in here? Is it just me? Shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. Not that because you flirted with me. I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match a passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. You're just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper. It's your intense love for me! Talk prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait! That's wrong! You can't fail at anything! Human! I'll help you through these trying times. I'll be keeping... I'll be keeping your cool friend. Act like this never happened. After all, you are very great. It'd be tragic to lose our friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Whatever, bitch, you ugly as shit anyway. Fat ass, ugly ass bitch, a long ass, long neck ass bitch, dirty ass bitch, musty ass bitch, smelly ass bitch. Sam? He said, I don't like you, but. Here's my snap. Now let me through, bruh. He took us to his bedroom for nothing? No, it was a good experience. We had the date. He took us to the bedroom for the date. We had the date. What you need for nothing? Long neck ass bitch, 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 ugly bitch. <laughs> Bro. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Neat, huh? Neat, huh? What's up, Sans? What? Have you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. You want girl beats, wanna come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from work. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go! Damn, I'm sorry, shit, let's go. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone! Hi, Sans! Hi, Sans! 
Greetings! Hiya, Sanzi! Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Uh, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. I must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops, what were you sit down? Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries? Let me get fries. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Real beef. We'll have a double order of fries. What you putting on your head, son? Is that your hand? So, what do you think? Of my brother. That's cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore out that outfit every day. You'd only take that thing off if you absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. By that I mean he wears it in the shower. It's Endeavor, guys. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Nah, I'm good, bro. More for me. You vile bitch! You nasty scratching your ass cheeks too? You are fucking musty, bro. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries. You see, bro, the thing, the ketchup does not even, it doesn't even flow that fast. So he had to be like sucking it down. Like what? Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard. He begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him a warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. <clears throat> Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah. So, you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, I was told you something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, the flower appears and whispers things to him. A fla oh, Flowey? Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Damn, she got real. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you float the bill? It's just 10,000 fucking dollars. No. Just kidding. Groby, put it on my tab. My infinite tab. I don't pay for shit. I run this shit. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Can I finish the fries? Down, I'm down bad started following you. What the fuck? Roby said that your food is probably cold by now. Thanks, Roby. Yo, you just date you just date the sands. What the fuck does that? Y'all remember when Mob was eating fries? Bro, I want fries now. I'm gonna go to McDonald's after this. Junkie, but he drew the lot. Steph, let's go get him. Oh, man. <laughs>